day one of Clipsal and already our city swarming with V8 fans. The event's attracting more and more newcomers each year, both on and off the track. But here's a man who's breaking records all on his own. From tragedy to triumph, Vassal Melandris caught up with a quadriplegic who's now a supercar team boss. I've been pretty fortunate um, with all the support I've been getting from all over the, uh, the, the race paddock and uh, everyone willing to lend a hand. I sort of look to him and just uh, look at his inspiration and how dedicated he is um, and I guess you know the work and effort that he's put into not only uh, his team but also his rehab and getting himself right to give himself the opportunity that he's got now. He's comeback kid of Australian motorsport. At just 20, Lucas Dumbrell is turning heads at the Clipsal 500 as the youngest team owner in V8 supercar history. What makes Lucas' story even more inspiring is that 15 months ago, the rising star of Formula Ford Racing suffered an horrific accident at Sydney's Oran Park that rendered him a quadriplegic. So one minute you're behind the wheel, the next you're in hospital clinging on to life. Yeah, in, uh, in Liverpool Hospital and uh, obviously the doctors uh, kind of spoke with me and also my brother and uh, family was there and so they kind of spoke to me and informed me what happened and it's changed my life and the most obvious reason, just uh, um, my inability to uh, move. Lucas's dream of racing supercars against his older brother Paul Dumbrell was over. I wanted to end up racing V8 supercars against my brother and all, all the other guys that are doing it today and that wasn't going to be the case anymore. It's just, you know, it's, I guess, overwhelming uh, emotion. You always, unfortunately, you know, fear the worst and uh, I guess, you know, we're lucky enough to still have him here and his, you know, cheeky smile and his cheeky attitude uh, it definitely doesn't go astray. Lucas's crash made headlines, but from despair came a story of hope. Just four weeks into his rehabilitation, he received an inspiring letter from one of the titans of motorsport, Frank Williams. Frank Williams um, sent me a letter just uh, telling me about how he's kind of, what his challenges have been and how he managed to obviously run one of the probably the most successful uh, racing car teams in the world and at the top level. To show that if he can run a Formula 1 team, there's no, no reason why I can't run a V8 team. Yeah, straight back up. Yeah. Now Lucas is spearheading one of the most ambitious new teams here at the Clipsal 500. Having already secured hundreds of thousands of dollars in sponsorship, Lucas Dumbrell Motorsport will make its Australian debut with driver Daniel Gaunt. Due to my age, some, some people kind of uh, seem to not take me too seriously in the beginning, but I've kind of got the right people around me and uh, having, I think having an experienced team around you is the best way to start and then uh, you can only uh, build from there. While Lucas's accident was on a racetrack and not on the road, he says he has no tolerance for any hoon behaviour and would even consider mentoring young drivers to assist them to abandon their reckless ways. It's definitely something I'd like to investigate and, and love to get involved and help prevent uh, other people possibly having accidents uh, similar to themselves. It's obviously it's a pretty silly thing to do when you're younger. For now, Team LDM are just hoping to finish both races here in Adelaide, but in time their aim is to give their rivals, including Lucas's own brother, a serious run for their money. I'd love to move to a two corporations and then um, move towards race wins and championships and all that kind of thing that everyone, everyone aspires to. Mm. And obviously have your drivers up on the podium? Yeah, definitely. So there's a little bit of rivalry still there. Oh, it will never ever change, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I ever scratched his car, he would invoice me and send me the bill on Monday morning for the, for the paint or the panel. I've got no doubt about that. Mm. Healthy rivalry and we wish them all the best. But coming up next...